Hi, I'm Graham Bullock. I'd like to show you in this tutorial how to tackle this difficult transitionary surface on a bicycle frame. This is the lug and there's two sections, tubular sections, which have to come together here and be blended to G3. So that's the task and let's get on with the tutorial and I'll try to remember during the tutorial to point out some of the hotkeys that I'm using. We're going to start off with the monorail tool so I've just got two curves for each part of the frame. So these are our parent surfaces. I'm just going to push K on my keyboard now to bring up the uh, key point curves. That's a single hotkey I use. And I think what I'll do is first I'll intersect these two surfaces just to give me this curve on surface as a kind of guideline. And take the three point arc. We're going to make a just a rough arc to pick up that basic shape of that intersection there. Okay. It's actually more complicated than an arc, but that'll do for what we want for the moment. So just pick that and move it to make room for the blend here. And we don't want to make the blend too small. Shift E, which is center pivot on my hotkeys, and then I'm going to rotate. So I want more room for the blend here and a little bit less room for the blend there. Check that, which is um, Control Q. And then I'll keep that curve in case I want to move this curve on surface. That's uh, good enough for the moment. Now I'm going to go Shift Y, which is Trim Convert. I'm going to change the CVs in the U direction in the V direction, sorry, to degree 7 and hit recalc. And I can delete that other surface there. I'm going to hit B to bring up blend curves. E is pick nothing. Let's put a construction plane on here now. Go for geometry and then we're going to go into F5, set the construction plane and then go into F5 and we can see in true view now. So these are the uh, blend points connected to the minor tube and this is the major tube. So I'm going to put a degree 5 curve now from here snap to that point there and to here back into perspective and make sure that you are between those points interface here I'm going to go for CV and XYZ I'm going to bring those out like that that one can move up there into what I'm guessing is the uh, tangent orientation for the moment. Now if I select this CV and then push down control, hover around there and push down the right mouse button, that gives me tangency. So I'll go over that again, select the CV, push down the control key, right mouse button and it gives us tangency. So this is going to be the footprint of our blend. We're going to go back into F8 and have a look how things are looking at the moment. Let's toggle. So this is going to be the shape of our blend. Put a comb on it, get some information on it. You can also do that with hotkeys. Let's delete locator. So Shift Q gives me 
curve curvature locator and we can improve upon it a little bit actually so it's we've got tangency here and um, we haven't really got uh, smooth curvature so let's let's do that now it's actually easier to I'm going to just um, control L bring up a new layer and assign that curve assign it to there turn on layer symmetry and that helps me to see and I'm going to change this curve up to degree 7 I'm using degree 7 because I've got the feeling I'm going to need it as, as a very complex transition here okay so can I move in the do them together both tangent CVs you see the effect that that has it changes the flow of the curvature here pick the curve again come back here and uh, I forgot to hit enter so there we are I've got my degree 7 now so control Z or shift Z I should say that and I'm going to just playing around with this shape of the curvature here and I think that's that's what I want I'm also looking at the relationship between what will be the footprint of the blend and this minor tube yeah I think that's it that's fine so now control Q project we can delete that locator now I think controls off we'll hide away that curve we'll build a quick blend there I'm going to build a, a profile blend it's only a test at this point so let's take the profile blend control G3 G3 Bezier that's fine and degree 7 chain select off and we're ready to go so hit spacebar the way that profile blend tool works is that it will calculate for two trim edges and one curve and then when you hit the other curve it will then factor that into the equation and if you have more curves each one you hit will factor into the equation and improve the, the blend so not exactly perfect at the moment but I'm doing this really to show you the various stages and why we have to do certain things to get a good blend so as you can see the blend isn't working there and let's go on to this layer so let's just turn off the symmetry for a second yes so you see what's happening the blend has decided to go in here the solution for that just going to query edit and turn on controls just to see what's happening there OK, well we're going to delete this under all. I need to put some lead in on this surface here in order to stop that happening. There's just one thing I, I want to check. Just want you to check what's going on there. And you can see that the CVs are nicely evenly spaced there. And there. Uh...